Hello there, Stampers. It's Catherine Buhler. Welcome to my stamp room. Today I'm feeling a little bit uninspired, but um, I need to make a card. It's my oldest daughter's 11th birthday today, so happy birthday to Anna. But I wanted to um, do my video today to kind of show you my creative process. I have um, some bits and pieces here that I plan to use on my card. I started using like a poppy parade background with the chocolate chip layer, but I really want to use this patterned piece here. This is from the In Color um, Patterns Pack. That's a hostess set or a freebie with a $150 purchase. So let me cut it down here. Um, I'm going to do five by three and three quarters and do it on my chalk. Yeah, I like that. This is what I started with. I, I think I'm going to go with this. I like this better. And then I already cut out my scallop. This is the Scallop Circles number no. 2 Sizzix die for the big shot. And I did a three, I think this is three and a quarter inch circle with the Circle Scissors Plus. And then I'm going to want a strip across. Maybe, let's start with I think two inches is going to be too big. Let's do one and three quarters. And I'm going to put my pear pizzazz over it. So I want this a quarter inch. Well, let me do an eighth of an inch smaller. I think. Yeah, so just a little smidgen of the chocolate chip is showing. Okay. I'm going to adhere these together. crooked. Okay. <laughs> ah, that was crooked. Luckily that won't show. Let me add some more adhesive. Okay. Let's hope we get this better. There we go. Okay. That's still crooked, but we're going to go with it. Anna won't care. Okay, so then... I'm going to use my printed petals stamp set with the Poppy Parade ink. When this Poppy Parade color came out, I wasn't a big fan, but uh, the more I use it, the more I like it. It's just a great orangey red. There we go. You know what? I totally forgot I was going to do something different. Never mind. Let me do this over. Luckily, we have two sides of the paper. <laughs> so, saffron. Get my stamp back out. I was going to stamp this to the side. And then use my Look Who's Turning stamp set. And I was going to stamp Look Who's Turning on this. Look Who's Turning. Okay, so then this will all layer like that. I need a little scrap piece of white to do her numbers. I'm going to use my chocolate chip marker because the Look Who's Turning stamp set has this wonderful um, stamp with all the numbers on it. So I need two ones. So we'll just use the marker to ink up the one. Okay, and if I had this in a clear stamp it would be totally awesome, but I don't. So Let's see how this one, other one comes out. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> and I'm just going to use my paper snips. I'm going to snip that out. And I was thinking that I wanted to, like, let's see. 
Well, I'm going to attach that in a second. This, I think I want to add something to it. I'm going to use my Boho Blossom Punch and just punch out one of those flowers. And a little bit of two-way glue. And then what girl doesn't need a little bling? We'll add one of these rhinestones to the center of the flower. Okay. Okay, now I bet you're wondering how I'm going to attach that, and I am too. <laughs> no, I'm going to use the library clips, and I'm going to attach it like this. That is really cute. Add some dimensionals to the back of the main image here. Okay. There. Look who's turning 11. How do you like it? I think it came out really cute. It came out much better than I thought it was going to be because I was feeling rather uninspired. But um, I think these uh, colors are really bright and cheerful. Just pull up the ends of that flower there. Isn't that cute? <laughs> and uh, the pattern papers look fabulous. So I think I like it. I hope you do too. And thanks for tuning in. Um, be sure to visit my website, KatherinePooler.com. And join Club Inbox. I'd love to have you. It's a great club and you can find details about it at KatherinePooler.com slash Club Inbox. Thanks so much. Have a super day.